Hey, this is Richard here at the Car Barn Hurricane, Utah, and today I've been driving around in a really neat little SUV. This is a 2010 little Nissan Murano all-wheel drive. Excuse me, this one's just a front-wheel drive. Um, I've had several of these. Um, this one's the SL model. Uh, runs and drives awesome. A lot of uh, get up and go, definitely. This is a 3.5 liter motor, what you'd find in like the little Nissan 350Zs and whatnot. So great, great performance. Uh, what I really like about this one is kind of a neat little sporty feel, but yet still fairly roomy. Uh, it's it's fairly well loaded, and we're going to uh, point out some features, benefits of this particular vehicle. Also, a few of the little flaws that I've noticed, so that you know, uh, with uh, some transparency here, what to expect if you're coming from out of town, out of state for a vehicle like this. You know, here at the car barn, we want you to be right on the same page with us as far as the features, benefits, condition of a vehicle. So there's no surprises. Whatever we know about a vehicle, we're going to tell you. Um, so here we go. Real quick before I shut it off. Uh, again, it, it runs really well. It's quiet. It's smooth. It shifts really nice. But before I shut it off, just want to point out. So 112,747 miles on it. It does have, I'm going to point out real quick, if I put it in reverse here, it does have the backup camera. I don't know if you could see that very well. It's kind of not too hot on camera, but uh, yeah, this has the backup camera on it. And then down below, you can see that we've got uh, <clears throat> controls here for your left and right, your passenger and driver for heat and air conditioning. And then down below that, you've got buttons for heated seats. This is uh, leather loaded, uh, does have a push button to start, and that way as you can see with the key fob, keyless entry, security system, you can literally keep that with you and just start the vehicle simply by pushing the button there. So let me uh, get some doors open. We're going to take a look at the rest of the vehicle real quick and kind of go from there. Um, overall, really in good shape, but I'll point out while I'm still sitting in here. The dash is in really good condition. There's no cracks or tears or anything that's warped or out of place. Driver's seat is in good shape. Does have power in both places, the back and the bottom, as well as a lumbar support. Got a little bit of wear on the leather, but it's not torn at all. And um, not absolutely perfect as far as it's got some minor, minor um, little spots on it, but not bad at all. It is nice and soft and pliable. It's not dried out, so in good shape there. And uh, the center console's in good shape. Passenger seat, we're gonna go around the other side as well, but that's in good shape. The headliner needs a little bit of cleaning still, uh, but in good shape, not torn at all. This is a non-smoker vehicle. And it does have the Bose stereo, which you're gonna know when you listen to it. It sounds awesome. Okay. Door panels in good shape. Does have power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. So it's kind of nice. Take a look in the back real quick, and they're gonna come back around and look at the outside a little closer as well. So the back door's in good shape. When we do a lot of these videos, just like this case, still hasn't even gone through and had a complete, really good detail yet. The first thing we want to do is make sure that mechanically everything is very sound, and then we'll go back and look at some of that stuff and do that later. So back seat, a little dirty, but in good shape. All the leather seems to be in good shape there. Okay, we've got a seat back. Looks like it needs a little bit of help right here. You can see that. It does have some auxiliary ports uh, back here. Or uh, not sure what they had going on there. Added, added headphones or something. And then in the far back, Find the right button. Both seats do fold down separately. So you got one side that's smaller than the other. Pretty good clearance. And you got some storage space down underneath here. Go around this side real quick. Door panel's in good shape. Seats from this side are in good shape. Looks like this uh, this pocket needs a little bit of help as well. So 
things that look like little kids maybe were pulling on it or something. Okay, and then in the front. <clears throat> Aha, we got a couple of the buttons missing for the seat. And uh, overall in good shape there as well. Leather's clean. Oh, I did see there's another one. Nice to point out. Okay, so we got a little bit of separation in the in the part there. It's uh, not torn or anything, so that's still repairable. Okay, so overall, that's what you're seeing so far. Again, any of these things that we notice, we're not afraid to point them out to you. Uh, those are things that we can talk about and address. Maybe some people want them fixed, some people don't. Maybe you want to save a little bit of money. That's totally up to you. So going around the outside, take a look here. Noticing we got a little bit of cracking in the paint, like maybe they bumped into something a little bit. Not a hard hit, or it's still structurally in good shape, but the paint's been cracked there. Um, got some little dings and scuffs. Um, not too bad on the hood. A little ding there. And then going down driver's side. I see a couple little door dings right there. And I can't stress enough, maybe I talk about it a lot, but not afraid to point these things out. I would compare any vehicle to this, you know, be as uh, thorough in investigating and looking at what the condition is so you compare apples and apples, okay? Um, going around the back, got a little cracking right here in the in the plastic. Again, any of these things could be repaired. It just depends on your, your point of view and what you want to do. Uh, Murano's are all uh, dual exhaust, as you can see. This one is the SL model. And going around the back side, not too bad on this side at all. Not too, no, I see any little, uh, there's one ding right in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a nice light color, so most of these are not dings that are gonna show up very well once it's been buffed out a little bit. I actually got one down here, a little tiny one there. But, you know, price-wise for the money, awesome little vehicle and uh, really, really good shape. If you like something that's leather loaded, gets a little more height clearance off the ground, runs and drives very well. You got four matching tires tread on them is fairly good uh definitely in good shape all the way around there so if you need any help with financing you can give us a call here at the car barn 435-215-7362 or you can go to barnloan.com and supply your information there real quick we usually get an approval in about 30 minutes or so from the local banks credit unions we're connected with most of them finding the best rate possible we appreciate you watching our videos hopefully you have an awesome day